Use the Word to Markdown converter to simplify the creation of Markdown using Word. Take advantage of all of Microsoft Word's powerful features, including entering, storing, formatting, and editing your content. Word makes it very easy, even for the most complex documents, to convert them to Markdown with only a single click. So here's the application. We're on the home screen, conversions, utilities, and online help. It's all right here. Back to the home screen, we're going to start by clicking New Word Document to create a new document for editing. To open a blank Word document from our application, there'll be a number of macros built into that document. For example, type Control-1, you'll get the style header level 1, as you can see up in the navigation pane. And of course, you can always do Alt-1 for some regular text. There's even a built-in macro using Control-7 to bold the first part of your sentence, making it really easy to create beautiful looking content. Go to your favorite clipboard editor and copy in some sort of a graphic and paste it into your Word document. Next, we can add some various text, maybe label the image with one of our heading shortcuts. You'll notice that up in the toolbar, there are a number of different headings that you can easily choose from with either your keyboard shortcuts or by clicking with your mouse. The navigation section on the left will show the outline that will reflect the different headings that you decide to choose. And again, here on the left under the navigation section, you can see the outline begin to take shape as we enter in more text and content. Now imagine we want to grab this code snippet and format it as such inside of our Word document. And again, I'm going to rely on some of my keyboard shortcuts. Control F9 will allow me to paste this in as a code snippet, as you can see here. Now this is nothing more than a single cell Word table formatted as Consolas, and that's how it knows how to format it in Markdown as code. And we're going to continue here exercising some of the capabilities of Microsoft Word as a Markdown editor. So here we have a traditional Microsoft Word table. This table will have two columns. The column headings are important because Markdown requires a column heading. We could fill in a few details. Now remember this table will be exported as a Markdown format table. So this is showing yet another feature of the Word to Markdown converter application. The ability to format tables into Markdown will save you a lot of time. So here I'm going to show you the highlighting feature. So we'll take a word and highlight it yellow, and when you export this document and convert it into Markdown, it will show the highlighting. And now I'm going to save this Word document so that I can use the Word to Markdown application to convert it into Markdown in HTML. So let's take a quick peek here and make sure that what we see here in Word is what we want to see when we convert it to Markdown. So I have various texts and headings, tables, code snippets, highlighting, bolding, as well as images, which will all be converted and look great in Markdown. So now you can open the application and click Convert Word Document. You're going to navigate to the Word document that you just saved. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds to do the conversion. And you'll see right here, it takes you straight to the conversion page where you can view your markdown, the HTML, completely formatted as you had seen originally in your Word document. And here you can open up a copy of the Word document that will look just like the one you used to do the conversion. The next step is to click Export in order to export the Markdown HTML files for use in other tooling. Once the export is complete, you'll see it listed under the Conversion History list. And you'll want to go to File Explorer to check that your files are where you saved them to. 
Here you'll see the doc file, the HTML, as well as the markdown file. You can open the images folder and view the images that we saved to our Word document and that were converted. So open the markdown folder and it'll take you to Visual Studio. And this is where you'll see your beautiful markdown code that you've converted using the Word to Markdown toolkit application. Here we can also ask it to show us the rendering of the markdown. And you'll see that it's all perfectly formatted matching the original Word document.